Hi everyone, I am back with more limited edition Uniball 1 that just arrived to the warehouse today and I have already swatched them and I think they looked stunning together. So I thought maybe I would just show the swatches, but then I was like, maybe there are some people who actually like seeing the swatch get written down. So I will go ahead and actually live swatch them. So the classic colors are available in three different colorways, American Diner, French Antique, and High Collar Modern, which is a very strange name. <laughs> they are available in 0.38 millimeter and 0.5 millimeter and you can get them in the individuals or in these three color sets. So why don't we swatch American and Diner first? And I'll do the swatches in both tip sizes because I know a lot of people like to see that difference. So let me see if this is a good distance. Okay, so with the bold, juicy, <laughs> black i'm going to write what set i'm swatching so we're going to swatch american diner first and there's another apple color in this series there was a baked apple in the last series and this one is a little less deep i would say it's not as deep this one is called apple gum And actually, I can show you right here the difference. So there's baked apple nearby the apple gum. So you kind of get an idea there. All right, so I don't know if it's referring to the color of the gum or the color that the gumball machine was. If you know, let me know. Um, the next color is green car and this is exactly how you remember that vintage green color that was it wasn't just on cars I feel like it was in bathrooms too like bathroom tile so I feel like that's a really good minty vibe there and then it goes so nicely with this blue shade that they call a denim blue So I think they've done a great job of pairing these colors. Now I'm gonna lay them down in a little bit more bold 0.5, so you can see what that's like. And we've got green car and Denim blue. Okay, so there are your American diner colors. And now, you know, at the very end, I'll kind of bring them all closer. So don't worry if you want an even closer look, that, although that is pretty close, I think. So next, we're gonna do French antique. This is probably, these are probably the colors I was most excited about and they are really lovely. So we're going to do, I actually don't know how to pronounce this word. The, it's peach canelle, canel. It's this, you see this on here, this dessert, whatever that is called. I do not speak French, sorry about that. Should have looked it up, okay. Feel free to let me know how in the world I'm supposed to pronounce this word that I'm about to write. Okay. This word. Do you know how to pronounce that? If you do, let me know. <laughs> and then next to it, I'm going to put the beige rose, which is so pretty. Reminds me of a planner color I have <laughs> that I think they call cloud. And then 
this is the blue cologne. You know, when I was originally swatching this one, I have to show you. So if you know Katakana, let me zoom in, then you can probably imagine, I thought this was saying blue colon, and I thought what a weird name for a color, but then I thought, well, maybe it's some like French word, but you know, whatever. And then even on the back, they transcribed it like that. No, it's cologne. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I had to make my, you know, our swatches for photography, I had to redo them because I had put colon on them. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna put these down in the point five. The beige rose reminds me of the high the high tech C. What was it called? Fuji. Benny Fuji. Okay, I can't talk about another color why I'm doing this, sorry. But if you remember that that color that they don't make anymore, this is a really close match for it. Or I don't know, it might almost even be. Could it be a cross between Benny Fuji and Ben Gara? Do you remember those colors? You know, I'm gonna know that you're <laughs> like an original Japanese stationery lover if you remember those colors. I'm probably aging myself. It's been quite a while that they've had those. And this, of course, is your blue cologne. Very pretty. Okay, looks so good together too. So then we will finally swatch the High Collar Modern, which again is such a weird name, I can barely even say it. Okay, so, High Collar. Man, I just love how bold the Uniball One Black is. So good. Okay, high color modern. Where are all my pens? These colors also look so good together. So the one I'm probably most excited about is this Gyokuro color, which is like a prestigious green tea that I think is also called Jade Dew for any of you that know your teas. But it is just a gorgeous shade of green. I am really excited about that one. And it looks so good with these other colors. So this is Sumire, which a lot of you know could be translated like violet or viola. It's sometimes used as a woman's name. It's a really pretty, pretty word and a pretty color. And then this is caramel, which admittedly, I don't really like on its own, but I love it with these other colors. Okay, and then finally, I'm gonna put these down in point five. Look how pretty that is. It's so good. I love, love, love it. Okay, and this is a great violet shade, in my opinion. And really, I cannot <laughs> say enough times how good they look together. Just, I just think they've done, this is maybe my favorite series that they've done yet. And I think with this series, what I'm excited to do is 
I'm excited to mix and match them. Let's see, can you see those nicely? Yeah, I'm excited to just try out some mixing and matching of these. So like, for example, for example, I kind of want to see what, let's see, I want to see what the denim blue looks like paired with the two neutral colors from the French antique line. So let's, let's just see. Okay. Because I think those are going to look really pretty together. Oh, so good. Yeah. See, I think that looks, oh, so I think that looks really good together. So I think you could have some fun mixing and matching also. Just my opinion. All right. So as always, let me know if you have any questions about this new limited series. I apologize for having another Unimal 1 video again so soon. I was so late in recording the other video and I did not realize these were going to show up already today. So yeah, I feel like Mitsubishi is really upped their game with the limited edition colors for the Uniball 1. The only problem I see is sometimes they come out with a color that's so good that I just want it to be part of the regular lineup. And there's definitely some colors in this new series that I feel that way about. All right, well, I hope you have a great weekend because I think we're releasing this on a Friday. I got some feedback about, some people were saying they would prefer the Monday guided journaling series videos that I just started to be released on Sundays, which actually makes a lot of sense to me because people have more time on Sundays to, you know, do that kind of thing. So I might go ahead and start doing that. So check this Sunday for the new guided journaling series and we'll see if that works better for everyone. All right, well, I will talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye.